Hey guys, um, me again, just checking in. Um, been a little while since I did a V vlog, but I did a um, video recording of um, a steam train that I did in oil pastels the other day. So that's up um, as a speed paint type thing on my channel if you're interested in that. Um, I have had a really, really tough fortnight. Um, not only did my fibromyalgia flare up to the extreme, um, but I now have a chest infection as well. So, it's not very fun at all, <laughs> to be honest. Um, and instead of doing art, I've mainly been slaving away at my fan fiction. Um, I'm now, I've just done chapter 53, um, and I'm waiting for the responses from that. So, it'll be interesting to see what people think. Um, a lot has been leading up to the chapter that I've just written like pretty much the whole story has been leading up to the chapter I've just written so there's a lot on banking on it at the moment so I'm really nervous about what people are going to say about it but I worked really hard on it so fingers crossed it should come out alright who knows <coughs> recently other than that, I've done a couple of art pieces just to kind of get myself back into it really. Um, Blaroth, Bla Blaroth, I don't know how to say it, um, on DeviantArt requested that I drew her, her or his, I'm not too sure actually, without looking at their profile. Um, I will correct this later and edit it to say sorry. Um, so you'll probably see a little message appearing above the screen just there or something to say what whether you are he or she. Sorry. Um but yeah, you, uh they asked me to do um a drawing of their two characters after having a fight side by side in anime and manga style. And I've been desperately trying to practice with my watercolours and get my manga imagery up to a better level because it's it's not very good at the moment I'm still not happy with it I'm still not happy with the image that I did but I'm quite happy at the use of the watercolours I know that sounds weird but I was very comfortable with them and wasn't afraid to experiment a bit so I was quite glad about that um, especially with how the background came out because that's what I was mainly going a bit crazy with so um, this is the final piece. Now I still feel that the the camera and the scan doesn't really do the real piece justice but um, you know it's up to you. I don't know if you can see that very well. I put a lot of detail into it and stuff. Um, it took me over five hours to do in all. Um, but yeah it it was alright. I think it's just because I've been so worn down. I'm not really happy with anything I'm doing at the moment. Um, this was another commission. My friend Victoria is a model and she asked me to do a commission for her. She said, just draw me, draw me. And I said, okay. And I wanted a break from my fan fiction writing. I think it was yesterday, day before. And I just chucked this out at the works, just, you know, sat there. I watched uh, Bright Star, which was an absolutely beautiful film. It was so tragically sad. I cried at the end of it. It really broke my heart. It was an absolutely beautiful film, and I think I'm going to buy it because I borrowed it, and I think I'm going to buy it because it was just stunning. Um, and then I watched Atonement, and I really liked it, to be honest. It's really quite twisty um so yeah it's twisty and tragic again I guess that's kind of sums me up at the moment doesn't it um oops um but yeah this um this was done in um a variety of pencils 
um, from, uh, I think it was, there was B6 to F, I think, I'm not sure without looking, but um, there was a huge variety of pencils and I used the Stedlitter um, colouring pencils to add in the colour, um, really tried to blend it all in kind of thing, if you can see the eyes and the lollipop there. But um, yeah, I was quite happy with that. Um, There's still lots of mistakes in it that I feel that I sh shouldn't have missed, so I shall work harder. Um, the other night I did a vlog um, because I was going to the fair and there will either be footage up at the end of this vlog or on another one, hopefully, if I've got their permission, of me, my friend Izzy and my friend Brendan, slightly ineb inebriated, is that the word? Yeah, I'm slightly drunk. Well, I know I was, being on all my medication just a little bit but we decided that um mid well I decided midnight margaritas were in order um if you've ever seen Practical Magic with Sandra Bullock and Nicole Kidman in you'll know what I mean and there's a song I can't think who it's by but it's like you put the lime in the coconut and drink a bottle yeah and <laughs> you run around like you dance around in your pajamas and drink midnight margaritas and me and my friends did that when we were younger, when we first started drinking and my friend would have a free house at the weekend and we'd all get in our pyjamas and dance around the house to the song, drinking margaritas. Best times, best times, it was brilliant. Um, but yeah, um, <clears throat> I am hoping to do a cat flat vlog soon. Um, also, I'm going to put a link up, probably here, if I can, just above my finger, um, to link you to Cat Cook's YouTube channel, because he has now got one now. I don't know what he intends to do on it at the moment, but he's got one, so I'm going to link it. Um, also, I thought I'd give you a good old laugh. I found my one of my old prom photos. If you can guess who I am then, like, a cookie for you. But yeah, that's what I found yesterday whilst I was clearing out. It doesn't look like I've been clearing out, but I have. <laughs> um, I've just got so much stuff, it clutters, moving from, like, having two rooms, because I was living at uni, but also coming and staying here as well when I needed the hospital so going from having two rooms to having one I've just gathered so much stuff but anyway enough useless babble from me that no one listens to um, I am off and if any of you have any requests or any questions as usual contact me <laughs> so see you later bye